Greetings wonderful viewers and welcome to the world around us. Since ancient times, spiritual seekers have been dedicated to reaching enlightenment through devoted practice of meditation. To transcend this mundane world and focus more on the divine, many have stayed in solitude, in remote areas, living a simple life in caves and deep mountains. Through spiritual practice, they have graced these sites with holy vibrations. Today, please join us as we are going to visit some of these most sacred caves in the world. In Christianity, it is well known that Lord Jesus Christ remained in the wilderness for 40 days of fasting and prayer. Prophet Moses also received the Ten Commandments in a cave at the summit of Mount Sinai after 40 days of fasting and praying. Following the examples of past prophets, Master Jesus' apostles in turn practiced spiritually in solitude. It was in a cave in the Greek island of Patmos that Saint John the Theologian received his inner visions recorded in the book of Revelation. As stated in the Bible, On the Lord's day I was in the Spirit, and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet. The cave is now known as the Cave of the Apocalypse. A mosaic at the entrance depicts St. John's visions. Near the cave is the Monastery of the Apocalypse and the Sanctuary. The tradition of meditation is also seen in Islam. When Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, turned 40, he was deeply engaged in the practice of meditation. He used to go to the wilderness near Mecca for profound contemplation, carrying only barley porridge and water. One place he often visited was the cave of Hira in the Mount Anur. The small cave, two miles away from Mecca, was about 3.6 meters long and 1.6 meters wide. The beloved Prophet Muhammad devoted his time to solitude for about three years. It is said that through such dedication he discovered the secrets of the universe. Finally, on the night of Ramadan, during his third year of meditation in the cave, by the will of Allah, Muhammad was illuminated and became the Holy Prophet. Later, he returned to the cave for more meditation before he started his noble mission as the Messenger of Allah. In India, where the spiritual traditions of Hinduism and Buddhism have long been present, a Buddhist sacred site called the Ajanta Caves is located on a cliff along the Wagora River. The Ajanta Caves consist of 29 Buddhist cave temples. Some of the caves can be dated to the 2nd century BCE. Buddhist monks used them as prayer halls and monasteries for about 9 centuries. Today, these caves are connected by a path and are numbered from 1 to 29. Inside the caves are masterpieces of Buddhist art, including colorful murals, large statues and stupas. A stupa, meaning heap in Sanskrit, is a mound-like structure with Buddhist relics that is used as a place of worship. Buddhism was introduced in China by Bodhidharma in the 5th century. When Bodhidharma arrived from India, he met the king who was eagerly accumulating merit by establishing temples, hospitals and schools. Nevertheless, the monarch was unable to comprehend Bodhidharma's teachings. In disappointment, Bodhidharma left for the Wuru Peak near the Shaolin Monastery. There he meditated in a cave about three meters wide and four meters high. Bodhidharma sat there for nine years facing a wall without speaking a word. It is said that even his shadow became imprinted in a stone, which is now known as the Shadow Rock. Eventually Bodhidharma became the founder of Zen Buddhism and Shaolin Kung Fu. Today the cave contains statues of Bodhidharma and his chief disciples. Next we are going to visit a cave used by the founder of the Baha'i faith, Baha'u'llah, in Slemani or Soleimaniyeh in Kurdistan. 
During his two year stay there, Bachaula dressed as a religious hermit, spending his days in writing, praying and contemplating. Although the locals did not know who he was, they revered him as the embodiment of divine attributes. At night, Bachaula often chanted beautiful poems and prayers in Persian. People near his cave were mesmerized by his melodious voice. At a later time, these prayers were collected and printed in a volume. Located between two high mountains, the cave is rather small with moist walls. The path towards the cave is difficult to access. However, the view from those heights is amazingly remarkable. According to a pilgrim, it's an inspiring and magical place. Just looking out and being there makes you forget about everything else. In the Himalayas there are numerous caves which have once been inhabited by spiritual practitioners. One of them belongs to the immortal saint Mahavitar Babaji. He is said to have lived for thousands of years, looking forever young. Sometimes Babaji manifests himself to sincere devotees and speaks fluently in their languages. Moreover, it is believed that when Babaji walks, he leaves no footprints, nor does he cast a shadow. Babaji has been staying in different caves in the Himalayas for spiritual cultivation. One of them is known as Mahavitar Babaji's cave in Dronagiri area of the Himalayas. Through a stony and narrow path, one can reach the cave located at 9,000 feet or 2.74 kilometers above sea level. The sacred cave allows four or five people to meditate together with the supportive blessing energy from Babaji. According to one visitor, his watch even mysteriously stopped during his stay. Another truth seeker also revealed that the silence and the grace that prevailed within the cave were unlike 